Hello everyone, welcome back to Anshul Gupta MD, your trusted resource on everything related to thyroid. Today, I want to discuss an important topic of the long-term complications that you might develop if your thyroid is not treated properly. Yes, hypothyroidism cases are increasing rapidly world over and the number one reason of hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's disease. Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune condition of your thyroid gland where your body is producing antibodies to destroy your thyroid gland. The reason it is very important to know about these things is that there are long-term complications that can develop in people if their thyroid disorder is not treated properly. In fact, the research is very clear that 60 to 70 percent of people, even though they are on thyroid medicines, still they continue to suffer from symptoms of hypothyroidism. So let's talk about the long-term complications that people might develop if their thyroid is not treated properly and Later on, I'm going to talk about what is the best treatment options for thyroid patients. So today we are talking about mainly hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's patients. So let's talk about the top eight complications if they are not treated properly. The number one complication we are really worried about is heart disease. Yes, untreated or not properly treated thyroid disorder can lead to heart disease because thyroid is very vital for the heart functioning. So the various ways hypothyroidism leads to Heart trouble is that it actually affects your heart directly and reduces the cardiac output. It also increases the resistance in the blood flow and that's the reason it can cause hypertension or high blood pressure issues. It also reduces your arterial elasticity and also causes atherosclerosis which is basically buildup of plaques and clogging of your arteries in your heart and thereby it increases the risk for heart attacks as well as congestive heart failure issues. In 2013, there was a research study done which shows a strong link between congestive heart failure and hypothyroidism. This research study showed that people who have hypothyroidism, there is a higher risk that they can die out of heart disease, especially congestive heart failure. So that's a long-term complication that people should be aware of is heart disease. The second long-term complication is called dementia. More and more people are being diagnosed with dementia or brain fog. The reason being thyroid hormone is very important for for your brain functioning. Your nerve cells need thyroid hormone to function properly because thyroid hormone is important for myelination of your nerve cells as well as keeping your nerve cells in good health and good shape. And deficiency of thyroid hormone or Hashimoto's disease leads to the destruction of the nerve cells and also causes them not to function properly and that's the reason we have memory issues or brain fog issues. And in long term, if the thyroid is not managed properly, it can lead to dementia where people can actually really start to forget things and not able to remember anything in their life. The next long-term complication that people should be aware of is that it can also cause goiter. Goiter is enlargement of the thyroid gland and goiter can also present with thyroid nodules. The reason untreated or not properly treated hypothyroidism causes goiter is that when your thyroid is not treated properly, it gets into immense pressure from your body to produce more and more thyroid hormone and also it causes a lot of inflammation in the thyroid gland. And we know that goiter is caused because of excessive inflammation and excessive pressure on the thyroid gland. So over the course of weeks to months to years, this pressure ultimately leads to swelling of the thyroid gland and that ultimately can also lead to goiter. The next long-term problem that can happen is kidney disease. There is a direct correlation between kidney disease and hypothyroidism. The reason being thyroid regulates the amount of blood flow that goes to the kidneys and also thyroid is also responsible for proper functioning of the kidney disease. The function of the kidney is to actually filter the blood and thyroid hormone is responsible for the proper functioning of the kidney and thereby proper filtration of the blood. When thyroid hormone level levels are low in your body or your thyroid is not managed properly that puts excessive pressure on the kidneys and doesn't let your kidney to function properly and that can lead to chronic kidney disease problems. Another long-term complication of untreated thyroid disease is that it can lead to anxiety and depression issues or mood issues. 
Several people have been diagnosed with depression and anxiety and what they don't know is that the underlying problem is mismanaged thyroid or Hashimoto's disease. The reason being thyroid hormone controls all the neuroendocrine hormones, especially serotonin, GABA, norepinephrine, epinephrine, which are all neurotransmitters which are present in your brain. And the imbalance between these neurotransmitters is the reason that people get anxiety and depression issues. And if your thyroid is not managed properly, then you can have long-term severe depression and anxiety and panic disuse. The next problem a lot of females can have is infertility issues. Thyroid hormone is directly connected with your fertility. Especially in females, if you do have a thyroid hormone problem, especially Hashimoto's, that can lead to infertility. Because a major reason of infertility currently is unexplained autoimmune infertility issues. And Hashimoto's disease is the number one reason for that because Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition that also affects your ovarian cysts as well as your follicles in your ovaries and that again causes unexplained infertility. Thyroid hormone receptors are present all over your female reproductive tract and when your thyroid hormone levels are not in proper shape that affects the functioning of your female hormones, your sex hormones, and that ultimately leads to infertility. The next problem that people can have if your thyroid is not managed pro properly is that you will have a lot of pain, tingling, numbness, as well as weakness in your arms and legs. And sometimes it is also called as neuropathy or peripheral neuropathy. The reason being your nerves, again, all over your body needs thyroid hormone to function properly. And a lot of people have these neurological pain and even muscular pain, which is present in their body for a long time. They have been given various diagnoses of neuropathy or fibromyalgia. But what they don't know, the reason is that the thyroid hormone is not managed properly and that is actually causing them to have these peripheral neuropathy and these aches and pains. The last condition is the most life-threatening condition which can happen with untreated hypothyroidism, which is called myxedema coma. If your thyroid hormone levels go really low in your body and your thyroid is left untreated for a long time, people can actually pass into coma and that can land them up into hospitals and that can be really life-threatening for these people. So now you see these are all the different long-term complications that untreated or mismanaged thyroid and Hashimoto's disease can cause. So it is very important to treat your thyroid in proper fashion. So what is the best way to treat your thyroid? So over here, I want to give you a disclaimer. I am no way saying that you should be stopping your medications or using this video to properly treat your thyroid. This is just an informational video. You need to discuss with your doctor the proper treatment for it. We are just giving you the information. So if you do have Hashimoto's disease and if you have hypothyroidism, then you might need to go on some thyroid hormone replacement. There are various kinds of thyroid hormone replacement available. The most common is the synthetic thyroid hormone, which is the levothyroxine medicine, which is available on most of the pharmacies. But now we have other natural forms of thyroid hormone available. Like there are armor thyroid, nature's thyroid, then there is also natural desiccated thyroid supplement, which is also available that can support your thyroid disorder. So it is very important to have a discussion with your doctor what is the right kind of natural thyroid hormone replacement that your body needs. So that's the first thing. The second thing, we need to go on a proper diet that can support your thyroid and also help it to function better. In that aspect, it is very important to remove inflammatory causing food like gluten, dairy, processed food and include a lot of nutritionally rich foods like a lot of different green leafy vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, good quality proteins, good quality fats. I have made several videos on my channel about the proper diets for thyroid disorder. Please check my channel or the link in the description will be there for you. The next thing is taking certain supplements. Certain supplements like vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, selenium, zinc, magnesium can also be useful in your situation to help support your thyroid and also lower the antibody levels in your thyroid. Again, these supplements might not be good for each and every person. So again, having a discussion with a natural or a functional medicine doctor would be very useful for you. And then also working on your lifestyle or improving your stress and improving your exercise routine will also also be very helpful. And then also knowing the root cause of your thyroid disorder is very important. Whether it is stress, whether it is gut issues, whether it is infections, whether it is toxins, all of those root causes are playing an important role in causing the thyroid disorder. And again, working with a functional medicine doctor can help you to find all those root causes that can help you to reverse your thyroid disease. So now in today's video, I told you what are the long-term complications that can happen if your thyroid
thyroid is not treated properly and what are all the other big category of things that you can do today to improve your thyroid disorder. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.